Uh, okay. Next question, please. Uh, can I address you as Dr. Phil? No, Phil. <laughs> <laughs> uh, There's a Dr. Phil who's polluted the land. <laughs> um, I, I think I understand, I'm not an intellectual, but I think I understand your premise that more or less absolutes are, are an evidence for the supernatural. Um, and I want to ask you a question. Um, I accepted Jesus as my Savior when I was 14. I went to Multnomah Bible College and got a degree in theology and was a missionary in Europe. And then just about four or five years ago, I, I deconverted because I believed the evidence wasn't there for what I believed in for 46 years. And one of the things that we were taught at Multnomah that was very evil was a thing called situational ethics or moral relativism. I believe both are very similar. And one thing I was worried about was that Christians, and I used to argue this, well, the atheists have no moral absolutes. They have no moral, <laughs> if, if they don't have God, where do they get their moral standards? And there was one thing you put up on the screen there that, that I questioned. I think you were using, now I'm, I may have this wrong, so correct me if I do. Is stealing wrong? And I think it was kind of a rhetorical question, and the answer is no, it is yes, it's wrong. But, I mean, if there's somebody here with a gun about to murder somebody and you steal their gun, mm -hmm. that would make that thing actually probably stealing the right thing to do. And, mm -hmm. you know, you can say the same thing about lying. And, Sir, can you please get your so, question? Please so the question you. is, do you agree that we can have, that I can be a moral person without having a God or a sacred scriptures to create that sort of abs moral absolute for me? That's a really helpful question. Thank you. Um, first of all, uh, on the exception to stealing is wrong, if there is an exception, and I certainly believe there are, uh, to a, a moral rule like stealing is wrong, the exception is caused by some other moral truth that in this particular case, the general rule of don't steal is overridden by a more important moral truth. In either case, you still have a moral truth. Do I believe that atheists have, have, believe in moral truths? Yes. Um, some of the best, not only do atheists believe in moral truth, many of them um, live out moral truth quite well. And when they're clear-headed, I mean, this afternoon I was doing an argument in my intro to philosophy class against relativism, um, and I said, look, you're, you might be suspicious that I'm against relativism because I'm a Christian. Okay, the argument I'm going to give you is John Keeks's argument in the book called Facing Evil. John Keeks is by no means a Christian, and his argument is completely, I mean, he, he's a really fine argument against relativism and in favor of what he calls um, deep prohibitions. There are things that are deep in our human nature that are moral truths. So, that is only one feature of the universe that is well explained by the existence of God. Now, I had, I thought, coming in 20 minutes, but it turned out 10, um, to present one feature of an argument for the existence of God. I think there are many, many others. And so I hardly expect somebody to be persuaded uh, that God exists or that the supernatural is real by one simple argument. But it's a opening of the door that you, where you have to weigh this argument along with all the other arguments. It's a holistic judgment that you make on the basis of many different things in your life that you have to decide. Can I, can I have just a quick comment on that too? Yeah, really quick. Um, I just wanted to say too, like Wes, I was a born again evangelical Christian for 25 years, and so I know what it feels like to be led by God or think you're led by God. And one thing that bugged me too is like, you know, you think about Hitler, and if, if they came to your house and said, do you have any Jews there? It's like, okay, well, I'd probably lie, but then I'd have to ask for forgiveness for lying. But it's like, you don't have to ask for forgiveness for lying. It's the right thing to do to lie in that case. But for Phil, it's a problem because lying is a moral truth and it's wrong. It's, you know, you shouldn't have to feel guilty about something like that. It's just... Bernie, did you hear what I said? I think you're misunderstanding. Okay. Okay. Next, next question, please. Uh, Hi, this question is for Phil. Hi. Hi. Okay, great. Um, I mostly had a question about uh, the non-natural truths that yeah. you were talking about. Yeah. So when I think of that, I, I tend to think of like Plato's forms and other things like that as more ideas in our minds. And since we are really good at seeking out patterns, I think that's part of the discovery of mathematics or the, are we, are we discovering it or are we creating it? 
Um, but since we are so good at, at noticing patterns and seeing different things, I mean, how is non-natural truths any different than ideas in our minds, which are natural because they're part of us, and we're natural? That's a, a real, that's a helpful question. It helps make the, the point that I was making crystal clear. If the things that we make up in our minds are just that, then they are natural truths. I mean, you don't have to believe in non-natural truths. So mathematics is just made up. But that, that comes with this connotation that something made up in your mind is somehow just like not true or it's less than other things. And, and it, it's not. Maybe it's a beautiful part of who we are. Maybe it's, it's, maybe it's why humanity has been so good at being able to do so many wonderful things and so many evil things at the same time. It, it doesn't lessen okay. the beauty of it. As I say, the argument for non-natural truths, and in the particular ones, the moral truths that I'm, uh, I think we can all observe, are well explained by the existence of God. You are trying to see, and I said it even at that time, I'm open, and we ought to be open to possible other explanations. I would observe, this is just a fact, that virtually all mathematicians would say we're discovering truths and not inventing them. Bernie, uh, would you like to comment? Yeah, I would. I mean, uh, this is mind boggling that moral values depend on God because some of the most gross immoral laws ever, moral laws, are in the Bible, like in the Old Testament, about killing a, a woman if she's thought to be a, not a virgin on a wedding night. I mean, these things are gross. And, and this comes from a God? God said this? I mean, th this is. This is insane. Yes.